Today I'm going to be talking about one of the most annoying and invasive weeds that you can get in your garden and that is the dreaded couch grass. Now this stuff will quickly take over your garden beds and no matter how much you cover it, smother it, mulch it, it's just going to keep coming back and it, it grows through the paths, it, goes, it grows through the garden beds and the way that it grows, it grows through these uh, through these underground root systems called rhizomes and it, it can just spread and spread and spread and then just pop up absolutely anywhere. So in today's video, I want to show you how I personally get rid of it and hopefully it won't come back again. I know that there's other methods out there such as covering the ground with cardboard and layering it up with compost or, or wood chip, but I've done that in areas of this garden and the couch grass still makes its way through. So if you come here looking for a quick and easy fix to get rid of couch grass, or twitch grass or duck grass, whatever you want to call it, you might want to skip away from this video now because it does take hard work to get rid of it. So you're going to need a garden fork, a bit of elbow grease and a wheelbarrow so that you can transport it out of the way once you've grabbed it out of the ground. Couch grass is fairly easily identifiable by its long grass looking roots. It, it does actually look like any kind, of, any kind of grass really. But if you dig a little bit deeper, you'll come across these uh, these long white stems that just seem to create a mat underground. It's like digging up carpet actually. And that, that's when you know you've got, you've got a, a, a couch grass infestation or invasion. Um, but yeah, they're, they're the roots. And in terms of getting rid of them, grab your garden fork and you want to start just lifting it up and bringing the roots up to the surface and then getting them out of the way and you want to pick up as many of these roots as you possibly can and you might not get it on the first go but you've just got to be persistent with it and I mean this area here that I'm working on in the garden I want to put some more paths and beds in this area so I'll probably come back to this again in a couple of weeks before I actually cover the ground and start thinking about pl planting something in there. You might find that it comes up in big almost like sheets of it. And then I always give it a shake to get as much of that soil off there as possible. And look at those, look at that root system there, that's awful. But once you've got the surface layer off, you want to go back over with the, with the fork and just start pulling out, digging out and pulling out as much of it the leftover stuff as possible and it's going to take time it's going to take multiple sessions at it but if you're persistent with it you will be able to get rid of it most of this garden that I've got here was actually full of this stuff when we first got it and apart from the areas that I've shown you where we covered up with cardboard and try and try getting rid of it that way I've used this method dug it out and it's not come back fortunately but yeah, once you've, uh, once you've cleared a little area, go over it with your hands and pull out as much of it as you can. Just look at how awful this stuff is, it's just rotten. It's going to test your patience, this stuff, because it really is nasty, but don't give up. Keep going and you'll, uh, and you'll benefit from doing this. So once the barrier is full, we're going to take it over to the compost and lob it straight on there. But if you are composting it, I would recommend getting as much of the soil off there as possible because you don't want it starting to grow back again in the compost heap. So this is the area that I've been working on this morning. There is still a couple of bits and bobs, but I'll come through this with my hands and just check over it and make sure that we've got as much as we possibly can out of the ground before I cover this up with some cardboard and some wood chip for the path and then where the camera's sat there uh, uh, it'll be another raised bed extending through into the final third of this allotment let me know in the comments if you're battling with some couch grass because I feel like I feel like it's a one-man battle at the minute and I know other people have to go through this as well but it's just it's testing sometimes isn't it really testing 
Thanks for watching this video. I hope that it's provided some help to you if you've been battling through the couch grass like me. And subscribe for more garden tutorials, tips and nonsense.